Hello everyone and welcome to a brand new plan and today with a game called the Dark Ages Strategy and Tactics. This is a game made by Herocraft, which I know them to be a developer usually of mobile games. I know for a fact they were responsible for the port or at least publishing the port or something of uh, King of Dragon Pass on Android because their logo shows up every time I start a game. And they have published quite a lot of our games on Steam right now. I uh, don't actually have uh, Steam open on the second monitor and I kind of the... Um, this game's a bit fiddly. Uh, I'm going to get into technical issues soon. It's, uh, like I said, it's made... Oh, it is made by Herocraft. And they have indeed made quite a lot of games. For example, they have the, uh, the Best of Herocraft bundle, which includes all this stuff and Space Wolf. Space... Oh, yeah, I, I had this one on, uh, on mobile too. Here's something that people uh, sometimes miss about this game. This is Metal Gear Acid with Warhammer. If you don't remember Metal Gear Acid, it was a mobile game. Well, actually, it was a yeah, it was a mobile game for mobile game platforms back in the day when those were a thing. And also, it was a mobile game like on your mobile phone, made in Java. A heck of a long time ago and it was the, the exact same thing like the exact same gameplay but we also had uh, cards for uh, sneaking so I'm gonna go back to this game now the uh, is, uh, Dark Ages something yeah it's available right now on Steam for the price of uh, 15 bucks I'm not even really sure if uh, the overlay is actually being recorded so I may have just been pointing at uh, at a blank screen or at the main menu of the game such as the ways of uh, of mirrorless action camera that crashed my video card earlier when I tried to start it up. I thought I thought I thought I was done with it. Like I thought that the issues with it having problems with Radeon drivers and crashing them and leaving only one month or active and making me re-enter my Windows password, you know, it's disabled, we were gone. But no, it seems like it's back and I didn't update any of them in a while. So whatever happened, it it was still bound to happen one day so let's go back to the game itself you may see the, this uh, con there is a continuous sign here that, yeah that's um that's actually a method of cheesing the game I i'm finished with the tutorial it's over but i can actually go back to the tutorial and play for one more turn in case i want to get uh, the extra objectives and get more rewards and then it's sort of a cheesing method actually let's go into these settings first this game has done. It's a mobile game and it is it is very picky about running in full screen. And I mean, it's uh, running in the menu right now at 55, 52 frames a second. And it is... The way it's programmed to hog the main screen is a bit... Like... It, games with actual graphics aren't that demanding of the full screen. Like, they're not that aggressive. This one is. Now the main menu does remind me a bit of um, the old Rage of Mages, but it's it's not the kind of game. It's a it's a mobile strategy game. So let's get into one of the uh, uh, the, 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 the what do you call them? The scenarios. There's no campaign, as you would call it. There's just scenarios, and the forge. The forge lets you forge upgrade squad battle stats. You can upgrade these things. For example, you can upgrade the sharpness of the swords, you can upgrade the heftiness of the armor and all that stuff. You can basically upgrade your units, and these are some of them. There's... well, yeah, if we scroll down, there's... No, these are just some of them. There's... Uh, that's not all of them. There, there's more of them. Maybe I just started with these ones and the rest were in the tutorial only, but that there's elephants too, so I'm guessing there's uh, more of them. Also, I only have uh, 10 uh, crowns. I, I spent a lot of them on, on the keeping one of my heroes around, like you could do in uh, ye old... Um, what do you call it? Uh, war war yeah, I should do a show about Warlords Battlecry 2. Love that game. People say the third one is better, but... Um, uh, I like the way that the second one was organized in terms of this campaign. And you may notice that I'm actually just stalling right now a lot. That's because the game itself is... Well, I'm, I'm gonna be blunt with you. It's not that great. It's not really that interesting. Uh, if if the um, if the interface is visible right now... Legend of... Ka... If the, the interface is visible, I'm gonna recommend right up front... Play Legends of Colossia instead. It's... Kind of in the same ballpark of a game, but it's better. So, um, 
yeah, that's that's my show about this game. I know. Uh, let's see. We have this guy. This is the guy I, love, I uh, got over from the last campaign. I saved him, and now we're gonna go into the uh, the new one. Whole bear Count Richard Warwick owned extensive northern provinces and his people controlled river nation navigation. The relations between the Warwicks, Warwick, the Warwicks, what? The relations between the Warwicks County. Wouldn't it be between Warwick's county and your house? Are anything but good neighborly, especially after the death of the Count's eldest son and a border skirmish with your grandfather's people? Well, what can I say? Grandfathers be racist and stuff. The middle son, just like the eldest son before him, is a rare guest at the family seat. He defends the county's borders, the Count's youngest and unloved son, Edward, Disinherited in his youth years, young years, got married to a daughter of your confidant. I am already bored, whose land conveniently borders on the Warwick's lands. The day had come that the old count set out on an eternal hunt in heaven and he croaked, meaning probably you kill him. And you have always loved the view from his bedroom window and the chink of coins in his chest, Edward is ready to bring the county lands under your position so that the middle son wouldn't inherit- I am already bored! Just reading that got me bored! Really? So these are my objectives. I have to conquer Warwick's Warwick Castle. I have to conquer all the lands uh, of Ambrose Warwick. Seize Ambrose Warwick so I can capture I can even kill him if I want, I guess. Control of Warwick Castle by five by turn five. Okay, that's. Uh, I think actually this is this may be just a. Okay, this is the only objective that actually matters. This is the the win objective. The rest are optional. But as you can see, you get a lot of rewards for them that you can either use to keep around some of your heroes and upgrade your troops. And I'm, I lose if either Warwick will be captured and uh, if I lose Newcastle Town. They could have called it Newcastle Castle. Just so there would be a bit more funny. Okay, okay. And battle type of squads. Okay, so this is the... Uh, yeah, I get it. I get it. This. Okay. This is the main screen. This is where everything takes place. Uh, my dudes are red. His dudes are yellow. Some of them are greenish a bit. And we have to go kill every one of them. And then, then there's these guys. So there is multiple fa multiple factions in the game, each of them having their own kind of sets of units. This is my current general limit. I can have seven generals. This is my money. I get money by controlling these lands. If a land has a coin on them and it's green, meaning that it's mine, then it generates money for me. If it's behind the uh, the red bit or the yellow bit, it's theirs, so it's, it makes money for them. And this is the turn counter. The thing I like is that it at least has weather effects, so the uh, the way battles progress are are um, affected by the weather. By the mist, for example, right now we have uh, less morale and I believe less attack. Is something. Okay, this is Edgar Preacher. He's a mentor, meaning that decreases squad battle experience by twenty percent, decreases attack by five. So wow, that's. Does he decrease, decrease my attack or their attack? He has... Uh, this is the rating he has and this is the number of units he can recruit in one turn. This is the guy I kept around from the last turn. I can actually have him use a special ability. Which lets him move twice in one turn. Which is actually good. Uh, the number of squads the channel can record... Yeah, this guy can hire seven squads in one uh, turn. So I should probably get him into town and... Uh, Pump and full of units because uh, these guys, as you can see, they have more units than I have, and I have to attack them all. I should probably get Edward into Bolog. Bolo. Baloney? Is that how you spell baloney? Because that's uh, that's funny. Uh, I should probably get him here. Okay, see, you can only move one turn. Wait, what was special ability? Maybe he had one too. No, his special ability is increase the attack of all squads by four until the beginning of the next turn. That's actually nice. See, this this is a um, armchair general. So that, I'm guessing that guy gives us uh, that thing, the um, the buff. 
globally. Maybe, I don't know. This is a mobile game. Like I've said, this it's, it's a mobile game. It's, it's made to work on a mobile screen first and foremost. And it's just ported to PC for free. Oh, so there's Ambrose. You're probably going to attack this place. So I should actually try and recruit some units. Okay. This is your unit command screen, the unit recruit screen. You can recruit the uh, units depending on what the type of uh, city you have, what type of uh, faction you have, and currently I don't seem to have any actually beefy hefty units, so I'm just going to recruit these guys here, here, and one more here. You can only recruit three of them a turn. Hopefully they'll be enough. No, they won't be enough. That guy's attack, I'm dead, but he... I don't think he can cross water. I'm also going to have to get this guy back in town. Oh, shoot. Damn it, I should probably send him to Sterling. He would have probably done something in Sterling that uh, would have uh, helped me. Okay, so let's enter and let's see what the enemy does. The enemy is consolidating its forces and it's moving towards me and towards itself and doing that and this. Yeah, the enemy is moving. The enemy is on the move. Sure is. Okay. Uh, yeah, these are your battle formations. From what I understood, each um, type of unit has its preferred way of uh, fighting. So I can't select the Falcon, for example, with these units. I can only se select the Wall, the Raven, the Hammer, and the Flail. I can't select the Sunrise because I believe this would require more uh, more troops. I can't recruit any of them, can I? Why can I not recruit? Oh, because they moved. Yeah, I, I, if I move, I cannot recruit. Let's get one of these guys. I... Uh, yeah? Why can't I recruit? Oh, it's already at full strength. I can't, can't get any more dudes. This is all the, that this guy can actually feel, I'm guessing. Okay, so let's check out battle formations. Yeah, all he has is the hammer. That's okay. I'm gonna move him down the road to Africa. I mean to Sterling. And I'm gonna put this guy in baloney. And then I'm gonna enter. And then I'm gonna see if the enemy uh, does something nifty. I'm gonna show you the combat soon, I promise. The combat is gonna be uh, on its way in just a moment. Just a tiny, it's a bitsy moment. Okay, you. You are the guy that actually does the things. Uh, yes, some cavalry. I uh, probably should put archers in the wings. Though I could actually flank with the cavalry if I put more cavalry in the wings. Okay, I'm gonna put one more cavalry here. I'm gonna put these guys up here. Maybe someone to protect them or one more archer in the back. Yeah, that should do it. Battle formations. The flail, yeah, the fl I pretty much just made a flail. The hammer wouldn't work as well. The flail, however, does work. I could use the wall too. Nah, not the wall. The flail looks good. Okay, he's done his job. Uh, recruited. Okay, go to Sterling. Let's see, what can you do in this town? Yeah, we only have, uh, we have some peasants here, so we can't really recruit massive, massive armies. Let's change this here. Uh, am I out of money? Yeah, I'm out of money. That's too bad. Okay, and turn. I could also recruit new generals, but I, I don't want to do it right now, and I kind of I don't have really that much money to begin with. So equipping a brand new general would be kind of foolhardy at this point. And that guy is just pushing up north, doesn't isn't he? Okay, what we have in Sterling? Uh, nothing in Sterling. Okay, just keep on the border. You go down. I'm gonna start taking uh, territory. That's territory taken. Uh, it's not a bad game, it's just kinda bland, honestly. It's not all that uh, interesting compared with the Legend of Colossia or whatever the thing was called. Okay. I lost the province, this one. That's kinda sad. So I'm gonna have this guy use a special ability. So you can now move twice. Wasn't that a special ability? 
The general's army woman by one during the oh during the next turn. Okay, so yeah, the, this this guy is dead and that region is lost. Pull back. Oh, no, I can actually recruit things here. Uh, one more archer. Would be better than the peasants. Uh, they have an eye for information here. Yeah, let's, let's recruit these guys too. No, I'm at the limit. I forgot this guy's at the limit, so he probably sucks. Okay, so you just move back there and hope someone doesn't kill you. You can probably move forward and just take Lichester here. You can actually upgrade the castle. Like I can't do anything in here. But I can make fortifications. Like This guy does have the ability to make fortifications. I think. No, one of the, I should probably get a get a general that can make fortifications because they, they're kind of... Oh, he retreated. They're running away. Okay, that's uh, unexpected. What unexpected? Oh! Where has thou come from, brown cow? Let's meet in battle, brown cow. Okay, you're kind of kind of far away, but I think that maybe a step, no matter what something. Uh, can't really do that. I'm too far. Oh, that yeah, my town is dead if I uh, don't go back there. But I can't really go back there. <sighs> I'm just gonna attack. So this is the the most important bit of the combat mode. This is where you can decide your um, your final configuration, your final formation for combat. And then you click attack. And then it shows the result and you can click watch battle to see exactly what happened in the first turn. Well, this, this, they start out by using the special abilities, their buffs, and then they, in the order they can, they attack. See, they're, they're moving. This, this guy's moved to the center so they could actually be next to the opponent. They got a uh, morale boof, boof, <laughs> morale boost. They got quacked the head and everybody was sad that, that turn. And now everybody attacked. See, they went there. Bam, kill that guy. That guy's very sad. Start round. Special activation. Calculation of casualties and done. That's it. It also tells you things like uh, what were the conditions, I mean, it was clear right now, what were the uh, the suburbs, what were exactly we fought in the suburbs, so that's why we won so easily. And we conquered a, t a city, a town, which is good, but I'm gonna lose this one probably. And these guys are coming down the mountain too. Uh, maybe I can get to uh, to Baloney before they can. Should I just probably recruit someone in Baloney? Uh, I don't have enough money really to actually recruit anyone, do I? Nope, I don't. You can even hire mercenaries. Like mercenaries have their own armies from the get go, but they do cost cost quite a lot, and they uh, they need to be hired on a uh, turn by turn basis. So I actually have to pay them quite a lot of money in the long run. But they maybe. I mean, look at this. That, that's a full army. But I don't have enough money for it, so let's then turn and hope we don't lose baloney. No, we're not lose baloney. That's that's actually a good sign. The names and the themes they're based on the uh, Northern Europe type scenario, you know, like the Hanseatic League. Howling playing. Let's attack. Yeah, this should be easy. Like we have, well, these. Mm, okay, these guys are actually. The step nomads, they're actually kind of good. Let, what's the tech anyway? I can't lose, but uh, yeah, I did get da these guys damaged. That's kind of sad. I'm going to have to take that thing. But that thing doesn't actually generate any profit for me. So it's uh, kind of useless anyway. Uh, can these two fight? Okay. This may be a bit of a hairy situation because these guys are neck and neck. Like, these guys have a one... A unit advantage. So right now it's all down to tax uh, to tactics, not taxes. Uh, I'm gonna beat them here. I'm gonna be defeated in this place. But hopefully I can beat them fast enough here so that then these guys can pivot this way. So let's see what the result will be. No, I lost. Let's uh, watch the battle and see what happened. Okay, use my abilities to defend and stuff. 
Okay, they use their abilities. Why won't they just all of them use their abilities at once? I don't know. Okay, okay, so everybody lost more of that then. Oh, these actually lost a lot of uh, units here. Okay, they uh, are not as good as I thought they would be. Like, I'm losing even even in these areas. Like, I'm not winning by as big as the margin as I thought I would. Yeah, and these guys definitely finished this guy first and then just came right at me. Wow, these guys were completely like these guys with the clubs. Well, yeah, it kind of makes sense. I mean, most of them were just using clubs, so they would be totally useless. I should have replaced them. I should have totally replaced them. Uh, yeah, I, 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 yeah, I, I, I get why I lost. I understand. I understand. I absolutely get it now. Yeah, it, 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 it made sense. They didn't. They weren't totally defeated. I mean, they did, they did turn tail and run back home. So at least there's that. Maybe I can uh, push back and stop them from totally owning me when they come back here. Okay, so I can at least get revenge this way. Okay, recruit that, get that thing. Now, let, let's revenge... Ah, uh, he's too far away. At least I can lock him in. Okay, got that too. He's going north. As a tactics game, as a strategy game on the mobile, yeah, I would see this as having some potential on a PC. No, honestly, it's it's 15 bucks. Legend of Galassia is also 15 bucks and is honestly kind of better. Oh, he ran away. He ran away with just these dudes, really? Ah, uh, damn it. Thought I had him, but no, he ran away. Oh wait, I still have one more dude. Yeah, you use your ability and run away. Next turn. Well, that, that doesn't actually give him an extra move next turn. It's just sacri it's, it delays the move from the current turn to the next turn. That's all it does. Actually, I could probably just go and rush rush the, the city now. Because there's no one there, basically. I can just rush it. No one's holding the city. Cool. I'm gonna attack it. Uh, can I attack those guys? Probably. Invasion. What again? Where is Grown Forest? Uh, oh, there. No. Th Groaning Forest 6. Where is that? Well, it's, it's that place, but it's, uh... Well, I invaded, not them, so it's not an invasion, so... What do we call it? A, um... Taking back a nest. Uh, glad these guys aren't doing much. Come on, move already, move faster. I actually do have enough uh, money now for a uh, new commander. Okay, here I may be a bit of a disadvantage here. Mm, hopefully my guys can do it. Like numerically I do have the numbers, but okay, yeah, I did have the numbers and I actually did it. That's good, that's good, it's all good. You go redeem yourself by attacking these uh, worthless farmers. You actually go here. You should strike them all at the same time and win. Yeah, that's good. See, these guys do gain experience. Over time, they do become better. Not by a lot, but they do become better. So let's get a mercenary. Let's get a merc. And this guy or this guy. Mm -hmm. Retreat to any province in case of an enemy attack. I can tell you no. This guy or this guy. This guy is really expensive, but damn. That's a lot of firepower. Probably gonna get this guy instead for eight turns. Hello, mister. 
You're gonna box this guy in and uh, hopefully kill him. Not turn so. And I'm gonna have actually a fight against an enemy um, general soon. So that'll be fun. Okay, they're consolidating their F. Oh, one of them came down. One of them's gonna try and attack that down. I'm sh I should probably try and get a general there too. Or at least a mercenary. You go down there. And... Ooh, I can actually attack that, that town. Start a war with the uh, Ambrose Sanctifier. And let, let's not start a war with Ambrose Sanctifier if there's something, something just yet. How is he not dead? It's just 13 units. Attack him. Crush. Yes, finally crushed him. Completely crushed and murderized him. That's good. Okay, that's good, 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 good. And let's attack Warwick Castle. Let's put some units in this area and strike at them. And victory. And we now hold the castle. And if we hold it for five turns, we win. But as I said, I need to place some units here, more than 30. So I'm gonna recruit a general. Hire a general. Yes, 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 you're a good guy. I know, I know, I know. And give him some units. Not very good units, though, because it's it's a very, very... Oh, I can actually... Oh, that wasn't a lot of them, was there? Uh, 35 is all I got. I can't afford more. 35 versus his 30, so it, it should even out, I'm guessing, I'm hoping. Oh, they're moving forward. They're moving up. It's it is entertaining again. It's it's not. I wouldn't say it's bad. Also, I won. But, oh no! Wait, there was a bonus objective for conquering it in five turns. Yeah. So I can pretty much complete it now or continue it. Uh, if he set us. No, wait, where was it? Well, if I click enter now, I will uh, get the, uh, the victory thing again. Well, let's, let's have a fight against a proper enemy general right now. Yeah, let, let's, let's kick ass. On guard. You have been defeated. And... Wait, no, 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 not that, not that. I should have... Uh, didn't I capture him? There usually is a uh, indicator for capturing people. Last turn, Vert. Yeah, this is it. And next turn I'm gonna get to decide what I, uh, what I can do with him. Either execute him or... Uh, be nice. And let him leave. Let's buy one more of these guys and one are not a foreign archer. And turn. No, wait, no. There's still this guy. You know what? I actually am gonna take his town. Screw him. It's my last turn anyway, so. Yeah. Yes, and turn. Okay, now they're going for. Well, they did take one of my uh, regions be even before I declared war on them, so it's. This is kind of payback, actually. Would be nice if there were more than one color for uh, for the enemies. Like these guys are obviously they're not in the same vein, but you know they've got the same color border. Now let's move up here. Uh, probably gonna move ahead of me, so that won't be good. Let's see. Well, the game didn't end, so uh, there's that. But uh, this video is gonna end now. So, this in essence, oh, I can look victory here. See, you can you can finish a mission like this, and I do believe that you can still go back. I'm not gonna keep any of them, and yeah, you can go back and continue there, even though you had your victory already. So, uh, Dark Ages strategy and tactics. It's an okay game if it's on mobile on PC. Uh, You'll, you'll find better there. There's other alternatives. It's again, Lodge of Colossia was had as, the combat was sort of as involved as this one, but it had more of a collectible card vibe to it. 
And it was more interesting. It was fantasy and stuff. It got undead and other nations and creatures in it. This one... Kind of meh. But it, it, it's, it's the not offensive okayish kind of meh. The kind of meh that you sort of... Oh yeah, that thing existed. Yeah, sure. That wasn't mad. It, it's kind of meh. But again, on mobile... For a mobile game, it's... I just quanked the microphone with my head, so sorry about the noise. For a mobile game, yeah, on mobile this would absolutely be great. But on PC for 15 bucks, oh god no. You can get King of Dragon Pass for less and it's pretty... It's actually more involved in terms of combat. And strategy, it's... Just get King of Dragon Pass. It's also made by Herocraft for this version of it. The one that's on Steam. The one that's on GOG is made by A Sharp. I'm going to see you again soon in more shows. As you know, we have shows every day of the week apart from Monday. Because that's when we used to have a show about what releases are coming to Steam. And uh, this year the floodgates have opened and every game is coming to Steam. Thousands, millions a month. So it's just kind of insane to do that show anymore it should probably be replaced with something else but uh, I'm not gonna make it at least not yet goodbye